Order. Question number 12, Penny Hinare. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Kite Minita Fakafana ke Maori. Does he believe that the lives of Maori have improved during his time as Minister for Maori Development? Speaker. Ah, the Honourable Tura Flavel. Uh, tēnā kui tēnā pātai. Aye. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Hini Hinare. How comfortable does he feel about the average Māori having one-fifth of the wealth of an average Pākehā under his watch and having no plan to address this? Speaker. The Honourable Te Urara Fable. Well, Mr Speaker, there is a plan, and uh, there have been a number of those um, enunciated throughout the country, and indeed He Kaikaukuringa is a part of that planning towards dealing with those issues. The Tamaki Makaurau uh, Māori economy, for example, is pretty substantial at about four to five, uh, three to four billion dollars GDP, 23 billion in assets, which is more than half of the national Māori asset base by value. And that's why we're focused, and in terms of my portfolios as well, very much focused on things like improving land pro productivity, employability, skills in the region with a clear focus on Māori enterprise. So I was really pleased, for example, to attend the Kaikaukuringa Hui in Tambaki on Friday. We had huge support from employers, from iwi, from the council, to deal with those issues that the member just talked about. Supplementary. Su uh, supplementary question, Penny Henare. How would he characterise the success of his economic policies? given that the wage gap between Māori and European populations has grown and now stands at $213 a week. Oh, the, Mr Speaker, the there's, there's, a number of measures, there's a number of measures, if I just take one of those mentioned uh, by Mr English and by the Prime Minister earlier. If we take, for example, so if we take, for example, uh, the desire for this government to move those children not in employment or in education, youth not in, in any sort of training whatsoever. What we know that is in South Auckland, for example, the number of NEETs aged between 20 and 24 has actually dropped over the last year. There are also fewer Māori NEETs across the country than in December 2012, and that shows that we are making good progress. There's always things we can do better, but we're making good progress. But we must continue to, con uh, to focus on the best outcomes for Māori, and that's what I've been doing in my two years as Minister of, for Māori Development. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Pini Henare. Thank you, sir. How comfortable does he feel about the fact that there are 9,000 more Māori unemployed since his government took office? The Honourable Te Urara Well, Mr Speaker, we're doing absolutely everything we can to address that. And I'll take one... I'll just take one example to help the member. We know that... We know we know that 42,000, many of whom are Māori, are currently on in apprenticeships and training. And after today's announcement by my colleague, the Minister, uh, Minister Joyce, of 183 million for work-based training, the government is now on track actually to achieve its target of 50,000 by 2017. That's a part of the planning I referred to earlier. So that member knows that apprenticeships and training is a proven way to get people into li lifelong career options, and again, it's a good outcome. Supplementary question, David Seymour. Uh, what role does primary and secondary education play in labour productivity and ultimately wages for Māori? Oh, Mr the Speaker, Honourable Tiarara. very important, very important. In fact, we're very focused on the achievement rates for Māori, and it is actually rising faster than any other ethnicity in the world. Mr Speaker, it was 45% of NCEA Level 2 in 20, uh, 20, uh, sorry, 2008, 2008. It is now 71%, 71%. And um, so, for example, part of that has been because of the absolute, the, uh, the educational achievement of Kurahaurua. Uh, and and I'm, so, so if I could just quote Mr Speaker that Te kura haurua o Whangarei te ringa prawa, 70% of NCEA level 1, 92% at level 2, and 71% at level 3. Mr Speaker, those results are all about Māori educational achievement. And that concludes questions for 